Hello everyone, my name is Jan Müller and I am since five years factory pilot at HeliProfessional. I made around 500 flights with the prototype Strike 7.1. Today I would like to give you some technical insights about this awesome machine. One smart solution is the canopy holder. You press down this button and you release it. To put it on, you press down and you let it go. As you can see, the system is very secure. The Strike 7.1 is a further development of the Strike 7. The main goal was to increase the tail speed. For that reason, the tail pulley is moved to the front into the one-way bearing. This results in, a, in about three times faster spinning tail belt. So, you can use a 26 tail pulley and even get a tail ratio of 1 to 5.05. The tail boom has a unique design to get maximum stiffness at the minimum weight. You don't need to adjust the tail case, the boom support or the, ser the servo mount. So it's very easy to put together or to repair. The tail blade holders have extra weight to reduce the torque on the servo. For a strong and smooth running transmission, the Strike 7.1 uses a two-stage transmission with helical gears. The gears are made in Switzerland to guarantee the best quality possible. The reason why I love this model is its focus on simplicity. For example, in case of a crash and you need to change the gears, you only need to untighten the screw of the main rotor head and the screw of the one way. And then you take out the gears and change them. So it's very easy. The rotor head is also massively improved compared to the Strike 7. The weight is reduced by about 30% without losing stability. This results in a very agile flight behavior. As you can see, there's only one swash control lever. To keep the rotor head completely in balance, there is added a little weight on the opposite side. To protect the bearings of the motor, the pinion has one bearing on each side and the motor shaft goes inside so you can use every length of motor shafts it doesn't matter if you if you're using six millimeters or eight millimeter shafts so it's really comparable with hardly all kinds of motors that are available on the market as you can see the landing skid is made of very strong plastic and it hardly always survives a crash. A unique part of the Strike 7.1 is the mainframe. The mainframe is made out of one piece milled aluminium. Compared to a carbon fiber mainframe, this has the advantage that it is lighter, stiffer and has fewer parts. This results in a very precise flight behavior of the helicopter. The Strike 7.1 comes already with these smart servo horns. There is a plastic part inside that fits on every common servo type. For example, we have this plastic part here for the EM class X8 servos or another one for the, for the other common servo types. In case of a crash, the plastic part inside slips and this protects the gears of your servo. And during the flight, you get the direct feeling of an aluminium servo horn. So you have both the advantages. Another smart solution is the one-way bearing. Here you can see the inside. The important part 
of the one-way bearing is made in Germany. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see everyone soon on the flying field and to show you this awesome machine.